So a very warm welcome to you from the Catalan capital, Barcelona. We are at this grandest of stadia, a fitting home to the giants of the world game, FC Barcelona. And here we have Barcelona against Paris Saint-Germain. I'm Peter Drury, and it's my chance to say that it is an absolute delight to have Jim Beglin beside me. Well, I can tell you, I'm truly delighted to join you, Peter, and, and thank you very much for that. And so, the distinctive sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem. Barcelona are in a 4-4-2 formation. It's the bedrock as formations go, and for such a long time, it, it places the emphasis on partnerships and combinations. So it's down to business here. Barcelona are back home, having earned a lead in the away leg. And they're in a position where a semi-final place is all but theirs. It will take some comeback to deny them. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. He's got away. Fires from distance. And that has skinned the post. Oh, how close was that to going in? It only required the smallest of tweaks. Well, the first attempt hasn't quite drawn first blood, but they've got a slight edge. That's a poor kick by the keeper. He's just given it straight back. Cavani... Steaming forward, it's Cavani! A potential goal of the season contender, if only. He was set on rounding it off in fitting style, but he couldn't make it fit. Look, they may have nothing to show for it so far, but this is one determined start. Sergio Busquets, forward it goes. Iniesta, so what now? Tries lifting it over, Suarez looking to get on the end of this. Well, that's pretty clear, it is a foul. And no surprise, that's a booking. Players protesting furiously, but there's little or no sympathy from the ref. to deliver a ball into the box. So who's he going to be aiming for here? Thiago Silva plays it forward quickly. Berati passes it through. He's left his man. Cavani with a shot! That's a half-decent try. A more than decent attempt, Peter. And it's Messi. Nelson Semedo. Tries a through ball. Rakitic 
needed to come up with a better ball. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Long ball, but not especially accurate. It's come loose. Suarez desperately wants to get on the end of this. Roberto. Nelson Semedo. Marquinhos. Cavani makes himself available. Cavani with the foul. He's got Messi! Marvellous goal! And for such a big name in your side to register very close to the break, not only creates a real buzz in your dressing room during the break, but dispirits the opposition too and, and sets up a decent chance to go on and, and finish this game to their liking now. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Barcelona give themselves the perfect start. Can they build on it? And that'll be the last act of the first half. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They worked tirelessly for me. Barcelona head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. And we're off again. Barcelona carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Looks to clip it forward. It's a bit promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Berati battles to win it back. Daniel Alves plays it forward. Pastore pushes it out wide. It is quite a run he's making here. Hits one! No, he's missed it. Well, I think a little eagerness just got the better of him. He may have been thinking about back-page headlines there. Sergio Busquets. Iniesta. Luis Suarez. Marquinhos tries to get it forward quickly. Looks to slip it through. Neymar. In he flies! Brave effort, total commitment. No complaints about his effort and commitment. He just needs to start heading in the right direction. You get the drift. Header! He's done very well to get to that. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Little doubt, that is a foul. And he is going into that little black book. Wide to the right. Going through. Can he score? Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade.
Aimed long and direct. Cavani. Uh, needed a better pass there. And it's Iniesta. Iniesta plays it into the channel. Foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area. And he has taken a dim view of this, a second yellow, and that means red. Well, the players are making their point, but the ref clearly isn't interested. He's waved them all away. Well, there may be some scope for debate over the seriousness of the offence, but none over its repercussions. They'll have to see out the rest of the game with ten men. Messi stands over the ball, he'll be looking to dink one in. Looking to shoot! Oh, and that should have been two. Oh, and a real chance to pile on the pressure, and he'll be desperate to get another. Paris Saint-Germain look as though they're about to make a change. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. PK gets into the right position to intercept. Rapidly approaching the end. Now just moments away from a set. It's Cavani! A oh, great save, real class. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Cavani is an obvious threat from set pieces. He needs special attention to stop making a run. Has a pop! He's going after it. And the follow up! Busquets goes looking. Oh, he's come flying in. No question, that's a foul. And he has shown him a yellow card. Messi floats one over. He's gone for it! There is the genius of Luis Suarez! And with that goal comes comfort. Well, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. There's the obvious danger man here, and yet he was afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for them. Is that so now do you believe you have to just two more steps to glory any reflections on what you've seen Jim there's a solidity about them almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold that is the pressure on the strikers who can afford to be patient and it's all paid off